Sooner Scoop HD. Start the Brent Venables era, just kind of how it went, kind of what you were looking for. No, a lot to clean up. Um, just went back and watched the film, and just a lot of things I can get better at, and you know, not only individually, but as collectively as a, as a group. Um, so just focus on that, trying to take in the good, but also taking the corrections and uh, being extremely critical so we can be our best selves. What about the, just the experience for yourself? I mean, experience was amazing. You know, I, I don't think I'll ever get used to that. So it's, it's just a, a great feeling every time I run out there. Now you get the, like those first, like first out of the way. Mm -hmm. Is there any like, not that there was pressure, is there any like calmer relief that it's like, okay, I can just kind of get into a routine now for game weeks? I think I was just always so focused on uh, preparing and, sure. you know, doing my, my job to the best of my ability that, you know, I'm, I'm so locked into that and focused to that that it, it really is and until it's over then I, I really set, step back and, and kind of see it but for the most part man I'm like I said I'm preparing every week's a new week uh, I'm just trying to play each play individually and, and doing my best. Is there anything like I guess going back and looking at the game just the vertical balls those you look back and you're like god I wish I, you didn't miss them or exactly cleaning those up um, taking what they give me and then also uh just being ex extremely efficient, you know, moving the chains and, and finding ways to move the chains. So those are a bunch of things you always clean up and there always be something you want to, you know, have back from the game. But um, man, good ain't ever good enough at quarterback position and, and you got to continue to clean that up. You, know, you hadn't played football in a while, you know, because of your injury and things. Yeah. So did it take a minute just to get adjusted or anything? Shoot, it, it felt like I was back out there and it, it really didn't feel like a, a long time away from the game. Um, so that that was good, but definitely just you know the start of any new season, um, kind of that that six months of you know not getting touched or so. Um, but you know, into the first drive, you know I, I got you know a little hit, and then it's all good. It's a part of the game and, and something that you know it it kind of just eased me once once I got hit. Did the operations and the communication coach Lovey that feel a little bit like when you guys worked together at UCF? For sure, yeah. Just I think. It's something we've practiced, obviously, from January and, and all the, you know, sideline um, operations. But mostly just getting on the phone on the sideline and and uh, being able to talk through drives. I think that, you know, kind of reminded me of being back at, you know, UCF with him and um, just playing the game, you know, with him. So, it, what are those conversations like on the phone? You said I think on Saturdays, like it was just good to hear his voice. Yep. Uh, what's he like on the phone? Is it a bunch of cursing or? How, how is he like in game? Calm demeanor is the same guy and um, just being able to talk through things and, and from a, a different perspective. Um, but we're able to translate it very well, communicate very well, and that's why, you know, it, it's easy to make adjustments, talk through things, and, and find ways to be more efficient. Was so. it easier for you to translate what he wanted to your teammates, having dealt with them before? For sure. Um, I think in the beginning, you know, being able to help I guess help the guys along um, since I have played in it um, before, but um, I mean for the most part, I think everyone's done a good job of of trying to learn it. And obviously week to week, you know, preparing for a new defense um, and and kind of their scheme, it, it helps having guys who are very well at just taking in information. Does that level of teaching that you did in the spring and that you've done out here in training camp, does that change week to week when you're scouting actual opponents? Um, not necessarily. I think, you know, early on installs, you know, you're, you're trying to learn the base of it and, and find a, a way to, I guess, just get the concept down. But here now, you know, we have a good grasp of the concept. It's, it's just adjusting to, to different bodies, how, how different defense play their, their schemes and, and, you know, working it for us. You talked about getting hit a little bit early. Did you feel pretty comfortable behind the offensive line, even as, as things were kind of rotating there? For sure, no. I, I felt really good. O-line did a good job, and I, I made that comment more so just, you know, to me being back in the game and quarterback not getting touched, you know, all spring or summer. So um, we really only get touched during season. How about snagging the first rushing touchdown of the season? You give the running backs a little ribbing for that? For sure. Uh, I don't like stealing ones from the running backs. I kind of let the running backs do their thing. But, you know, when I got to do what I got to do, um, shoot, I'm all in for the team and, you know, try to do my best in the run game. You look pretty good really reading that stuff. Appreciate you. Um, <laughs> but that, like I said, just things to work on and things to, you know, 
continue to be more efficient at and, and try to extend the run game with my feet, you know, keep defenses honest and, you know, in the zone reads and so forth. You talked about uh, not having to, got to see your family yet until after the game. What's that been like having them in town getting ready for it? Felt so good. Um, just being able to go over after the game and see everyone. Um, just spend time with them. It's been really good. They've been here this whole week. I'm going to stay for the for the Kent State game, obviously. And um, it's just good knowing, you know, I can get some home cooked meals from my mom, spend some time with, you know, my dad and my, my little brother. Um, but it's just a great feeling in general. So. You never dad really was been. quarterback. Did he critique you a lot after games? To this day, does he still get critiques? Yeah, I, I think he's definitely, you know, backed off a little bit just because he hasn't been in it, obviously. But. He's just, he's my dad, he loves football. We always talk football together and um, just always, you know, pushing me to, to be my best self. And I, I love that about him. And I need someone in my life like that. And I'm so grateful I have that. So Dylan, you've never really been a backup quarterback first game of your first freshman year, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but can you comment on the, the preparedness level that Davis is going through right now and how ready he is? To come in? Yeah, I think um, for Davis, I mean, we're, we're going in together, I think that's, you know, something I, I said in the past is like, it's it's truly a, a, a QB room that, you know, has to come together and, and prepare together, ask the necessary questions. And then just, like I said, you can never get too many perspectives. Um, just, you know, with Davis, Coach Levy, all the guys that help out with the QBs and of course the QBs, um, just having that and, you know, being able to take notes and take things from other guys, I think is super important. And Davis and I have been together through the whole process of it. What do you like about his game? Man, I just, I love how well he's, you know, being able to take in information and challenge him, challenges himself in the uh, the mental game and the mental side of it, knowing that, you know, it is a different perspective, you know, having to, to wait and, and just be prepared, be ready. But he prepares like he's the guy too. So um, I, I can respect that. And it, it continues to push me um, to continue to, you know, be at the top of my game. So, how about the game that Braden Willis had on Saturday? That kind of track with what you've seen on the practice field throughout camp. For sure, that's that's someone who's worked his butt off and um, has been doing it all fall camp. So it's it's really all his you know work in the dark coming to light, and I'm just proud of him. But most importantly, you know he's just uncommon effort. He continues strain, and I mean those guys get rewarded just from playing their butt off. So you have a pretty diverse group of receivers out there. Do you feel like that your rapport is growing with those guys? You felt felt good with them on Saturday. Of course, um, just the the countless throwing sessions, the 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 countless reps together um, has definitely helped us. But like I said, just continue to be more efficient in, in everything. You can never be you know efficient enough. Um, but just continue to work our butt off on on the routes and find ways to move the chains, create completions. Um, but they've done a, a great job of that. You look at your brother's name, you're a football family. Yep. Were you a Corey Dillon fan growing up, or did you become one because you're in the head? Honestly, I just, I never knew, just being so young, I never got to watch him play or watch anything, but I, I know the history of, of being named and after Corey Dillon and my brother Garrison and, and Roman, Roman Gabriel, obviously. So it's just, just kind of a football family thing. Dylan wanted to ask you about Marcus Major. You got the two touchdowns on Saturday. What did you see from him, and how big was that for him? Huge for him. Um, I think he's he's been grinding his butt off, and during spring, you know, kind of had some time off, but come back in the summer with with the right mindset, going into fall camp and, and just dominating that. I think what you've seen from B. Will and, and Marcus Major is truly what they've been doing, but just their work, you know, coming to light, and just super proud of them because, man, guys who work hard are, are going to be rewarded. Um, just super happy. Sooner Scoop HD.